Welcome back to another episode of 100% walkthrough of Harry Potter Ears 1 through 4 DS only. As you guys seen the the name of the previous episode. Um the last episode we completed one level of year 1. There's a lot to still to come in year 1. So there's a lot to do. Um there are some levels that are shorter than others. There are some levels that are longer than others. So depending on the longer the level, the the more the episode is going to be only for that level. The shorter it is, the more levels I get to do. So just keep an eye out for that particular episode if you're looking for longer or shorter. Does it don't matter as long as it, no, it don't matter to me as long as you like the, the levels as they are. Okay. So let's go ahead and go into uh, into one of these. Hold on one second. I need to bring this down just a tad so that you can see the screen a little bit. I hope that's a little bit. Uh, better nope <laughs> it's not to me it's not let's uh bring it right here let's see how that is that's better that's better what i was looking at <clears throat> all right there we go all right so now the most available one right now is gringotts volts so we're going to go ahead and go up in there. Now, remember the uh, platform for uh, the console edition where we had to go through diagonally? But not... It's like the whole entire level is like going to Gring Gringotts in and out and then just go back to the uh, diagonally and then just... Yeah. But here... The uh, handheld platformer is different from that. So this is actually is a level. So there is one wizard hat here. And there is one wizard card. Welcome to Gringotts. You're here to unlock Volt 687. I believe. I show you where it is. Okay, go ahead and do that. But he's actually in our party, so that we can go ahead and use him at some point. Uh, right where this barrel is, is where the wizard card is. I have no way of getting it, but it's there. Okay. Uh, but again, there's only four you can find, but once you get the true wizard status, that is also one of the wizard hats. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, here we go. Um, so strong characters will help us to get through things like this. Now, as you may know, see that's uh, the line that's going around in circles here? So it looks like I'll be doing this. So I won't be doing that very often. But one level will allow me to do something like that. So now the next thing that's going to be coming is going to be the uh, cog plinth. Plinth or plinth, I think it's called. Not 100%, which I will be using, and I dropped it. I'll be using um, a stylus for that if I can try to do try to use it. These plinths, plinths can only be used by goblins, such as Grip Huck, which we have on our hands right now. So let's go ahead and switch to him. I decided not to use the uh, stylus because it can be a problem, naturally. So, um, stay close to the green orb at all times as it moves along the track and around the cogs. So if you are from, if you're new to this, 
you kind of want to pay attention to where the, the little line, that, as you can see, that's moving around the, the actual cogs there. Do that a couple times, kind of watch it a little bit. And then, if you feel satisfied of what you see, then go ahead, be as near the green orb as much as you can. But you don't want the cog to be red for a, a short period of time, because you would have to start over. Okay? So you want to make sure you do that pretty, pretty easy right away at the start. But once you get the hang of it, you, you know exactly what to do. So here's another strength um, object here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And, again, we're going to do this to move the... Uh, uh, the train thing, whatever it's called. Alright. Now, we're going to go ahead and collect all these coins here. You can also touch the, the icon that shows on the top of the screen to switch to the character. So it's not entirely too bad. Alright, so here's another one. So just watch very carefully where it goes. Because every cog is different to each one. So you want to be very careful what you look, how, how it turns. So starting here. Just like that. Not, not too easy, right? For most people that are watching this. And if you guys have this game, go ahead and play along. And just go along right with the game, you know. Don't, don't just sit back and kind of watch. Just kind of go along with the game. Because, you know, if you go along with the game, you will actually see what you can do in games like this. Trust me. Alright, so another strength object. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Brings up the little path here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. But, there is two ways of doing this. But, as of right now, we can't go the second path, so we have to go the long way around. As you must know, it makes a nice little staircase once we get to one of them. So we're going to collect the coins first. Um, we're going to keep the strong character on hand. Because the reason is this. Okay, so we got to push two of these in. Brings down both doors. As you can see, it brings down this door. So, as of right now, we can't go back. We can't go up that way, but we can go up the other way. So once we do this, though, the staircase on that side over there will um, open up. So let's go ahead and click on that, and let's go ahead and bring our handy-dandy stylus. So if you, if, if you guys done this before, I don't really have to repeat, but I want to make the game a little go quicker so that you can understand how uh, certain locations of what you have to do in, in order to get this item, or to get this, or to get that. Just plain and simple. Alright, so here we go. Now, since we have done that, let's switch to Harry here. That's all, that's all we can do for now until we get to the actual vault. So let's go there. Let's go over here, and right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and click on the, the lock here. Opens up. Well, go on. Grab them all, Harry. So we're going to go ahead and grab all the coins. Now, in here, there's a lot of blue coins, which will bring the true wizard status up right away. So we're going to go ahead and grab those to get the true status right away. We best be off to Diagon Alley and to get your things. Okay. 
So next level, we'll be getting our things. So this level went pretty quick. So then I'm going to do one more level and just call it a day. So now since I have the True Wizard status, let's go ahead and grab all these coins. Uh, you know, you don't really have to collect all of them. But right here, as you've seen, I picked up a True uh, uh, Wizard hat. So that is like out in the open. Go ahead and collect that if you haven't. Um, so let's go ahead and stand here for a couple seconds and... Level ended. Grip hook is unlocked. No wizard card found. Um, the other wizard hats and the other wizard card is, um, at the uh, locked vault that allows you to go into a certain area that wasn't unaccessible at right away at the start of the game so now in here there's two wizard hats and there are one there is one red brick which i will wait to tell you where that is later until we get to the closer to the end of this level so let's see if you still need a wand you'll go you'll you'll want to visit all of Anders. Which, he's, which the screen is going to show us where it's at, and it's right there. Okay, let's go ahead and go over there. Let's not worry about these coins. Let's just, let's just get there and get it done. We'll come back and get these coins, but we'll get some of them on the way, but not all of them. <laughs> like most people, they like to collect all the coins and just go <laughs> into the into the level. <laughs> all right, so Ollivander, let's see what you got. Ah, Mr. Potter. I'll pick up uh, the wand over there and see if it, if it suits you. Okay. So we're going to, as the, as the game goes, or the, as the, as the theme goes, that the wand, it chooses the wizard. So you really can't choose the wand. You, it, the wand chooses you. So basically, that's basically the idea. That the wand chooses you, pretty much. <laughs> Let's see if you can smash this plank pot. So, to cast Reducto, quickly slide the stylus from your character on to, from your from on the screen or something. It said. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and it does nothing. That's strike one. Oh dear. There's another wand upstairs. Give that one a try. Okay. Now this one is at the top of the stairs so we're gonna go ahead and get up there and get this and us let's say again simply flick the wand towards the pot the plant pot and we'll see if this one suits you okay so we're gonna give it a try but don't get your hopes up again because it's still gonna do the same thing strike two uh, no no ah i wonder there should be another wand by the shelves upstairs. So now this time we have to go all the way up to the second floor to get this. Again, simply flick the wand towards the plant pot. We'll see if this one suits you. Alright, so as you may know that the wand that we have right now may or may not allow us to smash the pot but let's see if it suits us and it does right on the touch site that's it you can return the other two wands to me please all right <clears throat> so we have done that now all we have to do is talk to him again i suggest you pick up your textbooks now mr potter okay so we are going to go ahead So we're gonna go ahead and up oh, down here, down down this little path. Let's go ahead and collect some, not all, especially that blue coin. We're gonna go ahead and collect that, and go all the way down here. As you may know, that certain areas weren't accessible at right away. So we're gonna go ahead and smash all of these here, 
Go ahead and take... Hey, lady, get out of my way. <laughs> or witch. Get out of my way. Alright, so here... The monster book of monsters has chewed up half our books. But you couldn't help us repair some, could you? Okay. Now, this is the level I was talking about that we're going to be doing a lot of repairing. And it's going to be a lot of this in the screen, pretty much. So, now... We are learning a new spell, which is actually Reparo. Most people would like to keep it as it is, so. But you gotta go around two times to make it accurate. But I'll let you, I'll show you the shape first, so that you have an idea. Okay, so you've seen it a couple times, so do the exact same thing. So... It won't hurt a bit if you do it the same way. But sometimes if uh, if you do spells like this sometimes, you can actually glitch the game a little bit. And then potentially you could fall out of sight and die. So, there is something that you don't want to happen. Because sometimes if you actually end up falling, sometimes it could end up um killing you but like i said lego games like i said before and i'm gonna say it again lego games are a good game to have because you just die and then you just come right back that's how lego games are so yeah i did that a, i did that a few times as you may know i did that a few times just to get the actual spell act active there so no, no worries. Practice makes perfect. So don't worry about that. So practice makes perfect. So now since you have done all everything in the in the store here, now let's go ahead and talk to this guy here. And see what he's got for us. You tidied up the all the books. Here, I have something for your efforts. Good work there. Oh, you still need robes here. Alright, so we're going to go to the robe shop. So we're going to go ahead and go down the path here. Uh-oh. Before we do so, we got some monster books to take care of. So, we have we have to take care of some... we got to get rid of them. Use Reducto. And if we get in trouble, try Stupefy. And that will stun them for a bit. So, to cast the Stupefy... Stupefy, which means uh, that you have to go on around in a circle. Just basically do that to stun things around you. Which is pretty good. If you're, try if you're stuck, can't escape, <laughs> try that spell. That will uh, save you quite a bit. Trust me, it does. Me, personally, I've done this game, like, loads of times, beaten it. Not at 100% accuracy, but I have not completed it by 100%, but I have done, I have completed it, but, like I said, I haven't gone, like, every level to find everything. Because sometimes, when you find everything, you get sick of it sometimes. <clears throat> so, now, we're going to go over here to this little path here, and, oh, look at this mess. Can you tidy it up like you did at the flourishing blocks? Of course I can. So let's go ahead and do that one last time. And there we go. <clears throat> don't worry. My thumb is not going to be in, in the way as much as it is. So don't worry. I'm not going to annoy you with my thumb. So if it happens where I do annoy you with it, please do say so in the comments. And I will somehow try to change that. Okay. All right. Here now we're going to go ahead and try to collect as much coins up in here, but I'm not trying to get true wizard at at any time. So, if I end up doing get a, getting a true wizard, don't worry. It's not a big it's not a big thing where I need to really have to get the true wizard status. So, I'm not trying to do that. 
if I am, then I would, then I would do it. But as you may all know, that I'm not trying to use or try to get the true wizard status. So here we go. There is a robe that will fit you upstairs. Visit the dressing room and try it on. So now it's going to show us the room here, which is right there. So we're going to go up in here into this room. Done. Hmm. Robes in this cupboard, perhaps, is, is what I usually say sometimes. All right. Wow. These look great, Harry. Go and go and speak to Madame Malkin to buy them. Okay, let's go ahead and buy them. Man, I look good, don't I? Mm-hmm. Ha! <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, nothing that I would wear every day, but something I would if I had the chance. Uh, a perfect fit. Done. Now, out we go. All right. Is that all we have to do? Oh, that ain't it. We still have one more thing to do. Oh, I almost forgot. I got you a present. Happy birthday, Harry. Oh, I forgot it was ha Harry's birthday in this in this level. I forgot about that. This owl's for you, Harry. Pets can help. Pets can help you find hidden items. All right. So it's basically describing what it does. When you get within a range of a pet spot, an icon showing your pet look bored. Okay? When you get close to a hidden object, your pet icon will look excited. Alright, so now it's flashing. When you are on top of a pet spot, your pet's icon will look will start to flash. And even more excited, it should have said. But if you move away from a hidden object, your pet icon will look bored and then eventually disappear. <clears throat> Alright. As you may know, it's gone. <laughs> Try and find the hidden object when your pet icon starts to flash. Touch it, touch it with your stylus. Done. Why not see if you can find somewhat... Try looking over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and try our new owl here. As y'all may know, that once we are on top of a pet op, uh, icon, but this is the only time is when we actually get to find an item here. But, any other level, there will be like this aura of light. You have to find it yourself. So, which I am going to show you every spot that this out will appear. So let's go ahead and touch that. Well done, Harry. You found a hidden barrel. Try blowing it up. Alright. So now we're going to go ahead and go blow it up. And look what the holds underneath. Red bricks are present in certain levels. They unlock special abilities which you can purchase in the shop. Which is in the requirement. Which we're going to go ahead and go and buy that. But depending on what it is, though, depending on what it is, it might, we might buy it, but we'll find out. That's, that's it. Well, I suppose we better, we best be getting to getting, uh, King's Cross Station. Okay, I need to understand Hagrid. Seriously. <laughs> then you can catch the train to Hogwarts. Okay. First, we're going to go ahead and collect that, since that this game is actually a 100% walkthrough. So we're going to go ahead and collect that. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and um, collect some coins here. Where are the coins? Uh-oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Alright, so there's some coins there. Some coinage. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I knew there was some coinage back here, but I don't want to collect.
All right, let's go up in here and see what we can find. At least, like, two silvers or just one gold. Okay, one silver right there. So now let's go ahead and find one silver. Done. All right, we're out of here. We're done. I just needed at least to get to the actual amount that I needed at. All right, end of the level, right there. So, Reparo has been unlocked, so we can actually use that at any given time. So, Ingoro Skullis is actually one of the spells that goes on here on the top here, which we will, I will show you that um, in a second here, once I have a chance. So we're going to go ahead and exit since we don't have enough time to do another level. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into, let's go to the shop here. Like, every time you end the level, the um, red brick will show you what, what which wine you have. So we're going to go to the red bricks, which is extra. So the first red brick we found is 50,000 or 50. 50k. So we're going to go ahead and buy it. Okay? So it's the only only thing that that is shown shown here. Now, we're going to get out of there. Now, I'm going to show you what this spell does. It basically what this is, so I'm going to find a character here. It basically grows someone's head. <laughs> pretty funny. I have to admit, it's pretty funny. Bleep. Have a nice big hay up there, buddy. <laughs> but if you do this during each year, you don't, you don't get like a uh, point reduction. It doesn't matter. But don't do it to a prefect, though. That's what matters. But you can do it to a teacher if you're still in a class and, they, and you're trying to, still trying to look for something. You could still do it. But I doubt that's going to work, though. We'll find out. But we won't find out in today's episode, though. Because the next level, I'm not going to yet reveal of what it is yet. So, and, so then you'll be looking for an, uh, the next episode later on. So, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Please leave a like and... Uh, and a comment, and I'll catch you guys then. See ya.